Hi and welcome to another gastronomically delicious episode of Chop Eat Repeat where I'm going to take you on a culinary expedition to Italy. Now Italy's largest export to the world has been well the pizza. So today I'm going to teach you how to make the pizza but what's important to make a good pizza is getting a good dough. So today's episode's all about getting a good pizza dough. So get your aprons and let's get cooking. The beginning to a good pizza is to get the yeast activated. So I am going to start with activating my yeast. This is some fresh yeast to which I am adding sugar. Now sugar is what activates yeast. Yeast loves sugar. And some warm water. I am going to mix all of that. And I'm going to keep my mixture aside and we'll start making the dough. This machine has made life so much easier. So instead of kneading your dough with your hands, I'm going to use the machine. But if you don't have a machine, a dough mixer, you can knead the dough with your hands. So in goes my flour to which I'm adding about half a tablespoon of oil. And the yeast mixture which we had prepared earlier. Salt. Now, what salt also does is stops the yeast from growing any further. So let's now start mixing the dough. And as we are mixing the dough, I'm going to add water to adjust accordingly. I think the dough is ready now, so I'm going to remove it from the machine and I'll show you how it looks once it is completely done. This is how your dough should be, nice, soft and supple. This dough I'm going to put into a bowl and let it rest for about 45 minutes till it doubles up in size. Here is a bowl I have, I'm going to add some flour to it. Just let it be. I'm going to cover this with a wet muslin cloth because basically yeast loves moist and moisture. It will grow the best with moisture and this will double up in size in about 45 minutes. So I'm going to put this in a warm, nice warm place and I'll see you after 45 minutes. Well 45 minutes are up and our dough has really become nice and fluffy. And I've got this pan where I'm going to be baking it. Let me put some flour onto it. And with the hands, I'm going to just flatten this pizza dough out. I'm not rolling it. I'm merely flattening it to give it a nice rustic look and feel. And if you don't want to go through this process, you can also use a rolling pin and make a round pizza there as you can see I have flattened my pizza given it a little squarish shape there we go and my ovens hot at 180 degree and this will go in for about 12 minutes till it becomes nice and half baked because we yet have to sauce this pizza. I'm going to score it with a knife or a fork. And this goes straight into the oven. 
so see you in some time so the pizza is well baked and ready well i have cut off the sides of the pizza dough to give it a nice rectangle shape but you can leave it any shape you want now this pizza dough is ready to be sauced and made into a delicious pizza so i hope you've enjoyed watching me on choppy repeat showing you how to make a simple delicious pizza dough If you've liked what you've seen don't forget to press the like button do subscribe to my channel chop eat repeat and if you wish to learn any other recipes do write to me